Conversant provides you three levels of reporting to put information at your fingertips and help you mitigate risk. What you see on your screen is the first layer, which is our dashboard. Our dashboard provides at-a-glance views to your information so that you can see exactly how things are going and how you're performing. From here, we can drill into any one individual module and then from that module, understand more about what is going on. Say, for example, in this situation where we can see our policy attestation rate. The second level of reporting view is our built-in reports. Our built-in reports help you understand some of your operational issues. For example, issues by department and specific issue type. From here, you can drill into procurement to understand more about these corruption and bribery issues that are occurring. This brings up a list of issues which are in flight. I can click on any one of these and get the full detail of what is going on. The third level of reporting provides the ability for you to use Excel's pivot chart technology to deliver the one-click board report. It's now November and we need to update it. On the screen, you can see the issues list. The issues list has three new issues that have come in recently. As we switch back to our dashboard, the dashboard shows us that employees have been completing a number of policies. So this is now changed from last month, along with our education health. We're ready to create the board report for November. I've already created these Excel pivot charts from our October report. All we need to do is update it with the newest live data directly from Conversant. Note that corruption and bribery sits on six, and I've got a number of data points here. You can see I've only got one new issue based on my last board report and where the issues are actually occurring. On my completed training policy, I didn't actually have any completed anti-corruption and FCPA policies or training. But as I go and refresh that data, all of that information is going to go and update so that I've got my latest view of that information. So let's click refresh. The information is now updated. Anti-corruption and FCPA shows us that one person has attested to the policy, but another person hasn't. Similarly, if we go back to our instance issues, these have now been updated. There's four new issues in total. A number of them have now been closed and some are in review. We've also got some new pivot tables over here and here with new issues that we've seen come in. Now I need to go and complete the board report. I'm going to go back over to my PowerPoint. This is my board report from last month that I need to update for this month. So there's all my pivot tables here that require updating. So I can simply click on a table, go into design, hit refresh data, and that information updates one pivot table at a time. This is just a simple process of clicking one after the other and going and refreshing that information. So there you have it. I've just updated my board report for next month with live information from Conversant. With that, I've shown you an example of how Conversant delivers the one-click board report along with three different levels of reporting and analytics information.